the knee. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Don Willie back again with another subscriber request. This one from Tunco26, and I'm back here in Essos to talk to you about another cell sword. This one, Brown Ben Plum. Now, Brown Ben Plum is the captain of the cell sword company known as the Second Sons. He doesn't appear in the show, and you know he wasn't one of the guys that Dario beheaded. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why they decided to make that change, but you know it is what it is. So after Daenerys and the Unsullied defeat him at Yunkai, he decides that you know he's gonna band with her and you know bring the Second Sons over to her side, and you know he tells her that. He actually has some Westerosi lineage, you know, some possible Lannister, and also some possible Targaryen, and, you know, they actually become pretty close for a while. I mean, not, you know, super close or anything, but she likes the guy. Later on, when the Yunkish defeat the Astapori, he decides to turn his cloak, and she is pretty upset about this, but unfortunately, there was nothing that she could do at the time. Later on, he actually sees Tyrion Lannister when he is up for auction, along with Penny and Jorah Mormont. He attempts to buy him, but you know, due to Tyrion's clever manipulating of the slave auction, Brown Ben loses. He tries to get Tyrion again, but also loses that one in the game of Syvass. Later on, he's actually at Daenerys and Hisdar's wedding ceremony and you know Daenerys is not happy about him being there but he is a guest invited by Hisdar so she just kind of you know yells at him and he's like look you know what there are old cell swords and there are bold cell swords but there's no such thing as an old bold cell sword so he's like look I had to do what I had to do to stay alive I thought you were going to get us all killed he survives the attack on Daznak's pit, and later on, Tyrion, Penny, and Jorah actually escape slavery and sign on to be part of the Second Sons, with Tyrion promising a big, big reward if he helps him to take over from Cersei Lannister and claim Casterly Rock for himself. As yet, obviously, Tyrion has not been able to fulfill that promise, but we shall see if he actually makes it to Westeros to collect his golden dragons. Somehow, I doubt it. But you guys let me know what you think about Brown Ben Plum. Is he a bold sellsword or just an old sellsword? Again, thank you to Tumco26 for suggesting this one. You guys already know the deal. Rate, comment, subscribe share tell your friends come back for more that's been my time don willie i'm out